What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Elite here and today we are going to talk a little bit about the Industry 9 Torch Hubs. Now these hubs, pretty well known at this point, they have this beautiful anodized finish on them with some really really cool colors in the spokes. Um, and the hubs themselves. They're also infamously known for their sounds, but we'll get into that a bit later. The specific hub that I'm holding is the classic J-Bend ISO 6 bolt hub. This is their base model and it comes in around 575 US dollars for the set. The front hub weighs anywhere from 150 to 155 grams while the rear hub runs anywhere from 260 to 280 grams. A pretty lightweight hubs, very durable. Now it's not only the functionality but the sound of these hubs that really makes them cool and really makes you stand out on the trail. So let's go ahead and take this apart and see where all that awesome buzzing is coming from on the inside. So for this demonstration what I've done is I've already removed or loosen the end cap here. This just slides off, but you can look up tutorials online on how to take that off the easiest way. And then what we'll do next is we will actually remove the Paul system that they have in here very carefully so as not to drop any parts. That just slides right off. Now right off the bat you're gonna see what makes Industry 9 hubs so unique. Uh, the first thing to notice is that this is a six Paul system. So in here you will see that there are six of these little guys here. They are spring loaded so there's a small spring behind them. And then you'll see that there are two teeth here that are going to latch into the notches inside the hub itself. So by making these spring loaded as it springs, these push in and then snap into the next slot. Now with the Industry 9 hubs, you will see that they are three degrees of engagement or 120 points. So every time that you spin this free hub around, it clicks into one of these little notches. So every time you spin your crank at least three degrees, it's gonna click into another notch and give you that rapid fire. So if you're pedaling backwards or just going through a tricky rock garden, it's going to latch in right away and give you that forward momentum and allow you to press down on the pedals and push forward. Now as I mentioned, these little paws here, they are just perfectly matched to those little slots. So now it's going to be a very smooth engagement, but it's also going to give you that beautiful sound as it spins around. So now what we're going to do is slide this drive right back on. It just slips right in there. This one is brand new, so it's all glued up, ready to go. And you can just gently slide that in there, spin it a little counterclockwise to get those teeth lined up, and then you'll see, you'll hear that beautiful sound as you spin it every three degrees, which is literally nothing. It grabs on, and that'll give you that forward momentum to spin the wheel. So now we'll put that back together. We'll get everything ready to go. I'm gonna get it set up on the bike and we'll give them a full spin so you can see what they really sound like in action. So we've got our wheel all set up now. Everything's installed. Right now I don't have a brake rotor on it, but I wanted to leave that off for video purposes. So let's give this bad boy a spin and see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good to me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys out in the trails. You.